Greetings, Master Glass. We're back with Swamp Thing episode. What the heck is it? I can't remember. Four! Four! It's episode four. <laughs> Darkness on the edge of town. Yeah, I did not Google that at all. It's all in my memory, honest. Now, it's a little bit darker in here right now. I hope you can see me okay. I, I've checked. It seems to be alright. But I had to do it a little bit darker because, in all honesty, I haven't been able to barely see a thing the last few episodes, so I've got my curtains down. This is a pretty dark show, and I don't mind that one bit, but it does make reacting to it in a bright room a little bit difficult. <laughs> if you've seen me do that at all, that's because I'm shielding my eyes trying to see the scary stuff. So hopefully I'll be scared a lot more now. Before we begin, can I just pimp once again my Patreon, which should be just above my head? For just a dollar a month, you could really help me out, and I'll make sure it's worth it for you. For now though, let's get on with Swamp Thing Episode 4. Go! And we're back in the swamp again. God, get a new tune, Swamp Thing. <laughs> Whoa. What was the... What's the flashback about? Oh, his dad teaching him to be an arsehole, basically. What? Someone's key? Or is that lots of keys? Oh, teeth. Oh, teeth. Whoa! Not gonna be that easy. Who? What key was that? The swampy. Mm, I better investigate this. Whoa. What's he infected with? <laughs> oh! oh. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Thank you for putting some water in there to censor at least a little bit, or maybe not. <laughs> Ow. He just infected him. What's going on? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's not Alec. Or is it? Maybe it is. It looks a bit softer than it did before. A bit more cuddly. <laughs> Isn't that a swamp? <laughs> that's, that's like a tissue sample. Thank you. <laughs> Little unusual, but when a giant swamp monster tells you there's danger, you believe him. <laughs> Possibly not the best idea. <laughs> Let's shut him up. Why would I give a damn about the rest of the world? Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's his character right there. I'm glad they're the bit with the wife the previous episode. Right? Right? <laughs> Is he Okay, what's up there? <laughs> Just say he's obviously hallucinating. Oh. Come on, someone must be able to put two and two together. Come on! <laughs> And then he scratched you. Hmm, what's this big scratch in your arm? 
And what's this big scratch you did to that cop lady? I'm gonna go try and find the source. This thing, whatever it is, is being transmitted from person to person, so... Perhaps some... Maybe a scratch of some sort? Like the one he's got in his arm? <laughs> Near Disney sound effect there! There we go! I love the makeup and everything work on him. Get John Constantine, he'll know what to do. What's she gonna see then? What is she gonna see? Ah! Ah! Of course, yeah. There we go. Try not to script. That was really dumb of her. Really, really dumb of her. That was exceptionally dumb. If it was literally anyone else. I would believe it. I know she's trying to calm her down to like stop her from shooting people, but going so close. He's Alex hel helping a lot more now. <laughs> Swamp Thing's actually being a hero in some way, or at least some sort of kindly sage. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty freaky. Oh, is that a wise idea? We have an evil swamp thing on our hands, or oh, at least a deranged one. That was handy. Okay, that's that wrapped up in a neat little bow. <laughs> Luckily, they were, they were right next to him. There had to be something underhanded at some point. It's all right. Ah, you creepy underhanded git. Couldn't they have just been nice, could it? They could have just been <laughs> taking in an orphan. This is only the beginning. Oh. Or at least six episodes worth. Okay, that was episode four of Swamp Thing. Just six more to go. The darkness is sort of creeping in and they put it straight back again. Okay. <laughs> um, things definitely going on. Some things moving forward. But this was a little bit more of a standalone episode. Just sort of hinting at bad things to come. I would like to see this brought more to the fore, eh? To have actually had this darkness maybe infecting the town. Really bad things happening instead of just like one person at a time in a queue. But whether we'll get that is another matter. <laughs> Every episode of this is just a big frustration knowing we've only got a few episodes to tell the entire story. And that we're not going to get any more of it. But still, a pretty good episode there. A few moments of characters doing silly things. <laughs> but okay, I, it's acceptable. It's a TV show. It has to happen sometimes in the name of drama. I I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked all the weird sort of scarecrow gas hallucinations of their worst fears. There definitely seemed to be a bit of scarecrow in there. And I'm happy to see that, especially after just been playing for Injustice 2 again. And that specific scene with Swamp Thing and the Scarecrow. Yeah, pretty good. I'm really enjoying Swamp Thing still. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you sticking with the show to the bitter end? Yeah, let me know. And if you'd like to support the show, please subscribe to DC Comics Gamer for everything on the worlds of DC. Not just TV shows, also movies, video games, and whatever I feel like talking about. Like the odd Superman rant now and again. And if you really, really want to support me, I've got the Patreon for just a dollar a month. If you can kick a dollar a month my way, you'll help me make the show even better and persuade me to carry on doing it. Because it does take up a lot of my time and I would love to have your support and I'd try to make it as worth it as possible. Thanks for watching folks and for now, Multiverse, out. <laughs>